Hello zany friends and welcome to another book review video. Today I am talking about Final Girls by Riley Sager. This is the first book by Riley Sager that I was able to read and or I have ever read. Um, I did get ac accepted to review a copy of Lock Every Door which was last year's book by him and I'm really excited because everyone raves about that book and I'm so ready to read it. So I wanted to read a couple other ones first before I got to that one. So this one I actually listened to on audiobook I got from the library. Okay what can I say about this book? So the, the premise is that uh, there is a certain description of final girls uh, of that a final girl is one of those girls who ends up surviving from a mass murder attack situation. So the, like basically the last girl standing, she's called a final girl. It's a term they use in Hollywood, especially in slasher movies, that it's the final girl that survives. So there's this girl who survived an attack on a cabin um, she cannot remember what is going, how has happened. She basically has amnesia, cannot remember anything. But basically she's found in the woods by this policeman. She's rescued and then she goes for like 10 years and she's dealing with everything that's happening. She gets to know other final girls and then the, one of them dies and is kill, is dying in such a way that they think that she has been killed and not that she has committed suicide. So she starts to look in with it, into the whole thing, and then she starts to remember things from the cabin, trying to remember who exactly did it, uh, all the circumstances around it. And then one of the final girls who shows up, uh, one of the other ones that she's friends with, uh, she starts to get really weird feelings about her as well, even though this final girl, she has a completely different traumatizing experience. She's not part of the situation that that caused her to be a final girl. It's a completely different uh, traumatizing experience, but they have that shared thing, but there's something just not right about her. So um, that is all I can tell you about this book. Um, let me tell you, I loved, loved this book. I'm giving it five stars. Um, it was, uh, usually I give it five stars if I would read it again and I think I would because this has a really unreliable narrator because she can't remember what is happening to her that what happened to her in this cabin and then you find out in the last hour and usually as an analytical person and a person who reads a lot of mysteries and thrillers I can figure out pretty quickly who the villain is and in this one I had no clue I was blown away and I was at work too so I was sitting there and I found out and I gasped and the guy next to me is like what what <laughs> I just got to that part of my book um so yeah I'm just I'm just saying guys this is an amazing book I cannot wait to read other books by this author um I'm I'm ready for it so uh if you like thrillers and you haven't read anything by Riley Saker I really really recommend that you do uh so thank you so much for watching let me know if there's other thriller authors that you are uh interested in or have read and think that i should also read as well other books um but comment those down below for me and until next time stay zany